Chapman has helped launch celebrations to mark the bicentenary of the crossing of the Blue Mountains. The trek across the New South Wales bush helped transform the colony into a wealthy state. Antoinette Latouf explains. 200 years ago, an early morning journey changed Australian history. Good citizens of the colony of New South Wales! On May 11, 1813, a bell marked the beginning of a 21-day mission. Today's reenactment included three explorers, their four servants and livestock. The Blue Mountains Crossing was led by Gregory Blacksland, William Lawson and William Charles Wentworth. Their discovery resulted in a 160-kilometre road that connected Sydney to the bush, linking lucrative agricultural land to the ports. Actor Jack Thompson joined the event and read some classic Australian poetry. I'm here because uh, I'm an Australian. I have a, a deep and abiding interest in the history of this country and I grew up being taught about Blackstone, Wentworth and Lawson. It was an expedition that changed New South Wales from a small penal colony into a wealthy state. This is a very significant effect because it's reminding us all of those who've gone before and the debt we owe them. Family members of the late explorers will be joined by history enthusiasts over the next three weeks to complete the trek. With great excitement and quite a bit, lot of anticipation, um, obviously there's a lot of family members who are doing it and so it is a big honour, big honour. The bicentennial celebrations continue until the end of the month. Antoinette Latouf, 10 News. A crucial part of Sydney's history was reenacted today at the foot of the Blue Mountains. 200 years after Blacksland, Lawson and Wentworth began their remarkable journey over the Great Dividing Range, a group of volunteers retraced their footsteps. The modern day explorers braved a chilly autumn morning as they set off on a 21 day crossing of the Blue Mountains. And saying in effect thank you to those intrepid men who set off from here to seek the unknown. The bicentennial reenactment is designed to celebrate the historic crossing that was finally completed in May 1813 after many unsuccessful attempts. It must have been quite extraordinary for those men, all of them, with their dogs and their animals heading out truly into the unknown. The group includes people playing the roles of the original pioneers, Blacksland, Lawson and Wentworth. There's also three convicts and a kangaroo hunter among the group who are all very proud to be retracing the explorers' footsteps. Obviously there's a lot of family members who are doing it and so it is a big honour. The group did have to rely on modern technology today though and use their iPhones when they briefly lost their way. If all goes to plan, by the end of the month they'll reach Mount Blacksland where the original explorers finished their journey. And power, 7 News. Sport now with... 200 years ago, a small troop left Sydney to find a crossing for the Blue Mountains. Their path led to one of the country's vital road links. Today, a team of adventurers set off to recreate the 21-day trek. But they needed a few modern gadgets to save the day. Karen Tan reports. Daybreak at the Blue Mountains. An eager troop of modern-day explorers gather to relive the path of their forebears. What lies beyond, we do not know, but the Blue Mountains will be crossed! When I was a kid, we learned at school about Blackstone, Wentworth, Lawson and all of the other explorers. The group, including direct descendants, will step into the shoes of the original three explorers, three convicts, a kangaroo shooter, plus four horses and five dogs, who originally set off on the same path in 1813. Thank you to those intrepid men who set off from here 200 years ago uh, to seek the unknown and find out what was beyond the Blue Mountains. The explorers paved the way for what's now become part of the Great Western Highway, where earlier settlers had tried and failed before them. It would be nice to be in that sort of mindset that um, we know where we're going to get to. In theory, anyway. So which way do we go, mate? Right? Reckon we keep walking. Lucky for some modern technology to help them on their way. Let's go to Compass. I don't think your uh, forefathers had those, mate. Karen Tan, ABC News. Explorers braved a chilly autumn morning as they set off on a 21-day crossing of the Blue Mountains.
and saying, in effect, thank you to those intrepid men who set off from here to seek the unknown. The bicentennial reenactment is designed to celebrate the historic crossing that was finally completed in May 1813 after many unsuccessful attempts. It must have been quite extraordinary for those men, all of them, with their dogs and their animals heading out truly into the unknown. The group includes people playing the roles of the original pioneers, Blacksland, Lawson and Wentworth. There's also three convicts and a kangaroo hunter among the group who are all very proud to be retracing the explorer's footsteps. Obviously there's a lot of family members who are doing it and so it is a big honour. The group did have to rely on modern technology today though and use their iPhones when they briefly lost their way. If all goes to plan, by the end of the month they'll reach Mount Blacksland where the original explorers finished their journey.